So guys, today we have with us the entry level gaming headset from Kingston in the HyperX Cloud series, that is the HyperX Cloud drone. Starting off with the design, it certainly stands out from the rest with those red and black color combination that will definitely complement majority of the gaming builds out there. Despite the fact that the headsets are completely made out of plastic, it by no means feels cheap but has a rather premium look and feel. The ear cups are made out of some kind of leather and they envelop the ear like a quilt. When you put it on your head, everything will fit into place quite well and the comfortable cushion on the top of the headset will add to it. It definitely won't cause any uneasiness in spite long duration of usage. As it stands out in the comfortability department, let's move towards some other features of it. So the left side of the headset comes with a swivel microphone and well that's quite handy. Just push the microphone to 90 degree angle and it will go unmute and pulling it back down will unmute it again. The audio recorded with the microphone sounds decent for the price and can be used for Skype calls and definitely gaming. Whereas the right side of the headset comes with a volume control knob and that by far is the most amazing feature in it. Trust me guys once you'll get the habit of it, you'll start looking for it in every other headphone. The cable is nicely braided and is quite sturdy. Also it comes along with a 2 meter long extension which separates the microphone input and the audio output. So I've been using this headset for over 2 months now and I've tested it on quite a few games. Well, to start, the noise isolation is good enough. It has a good sound stage but nothing punchy. Keeping in mind that it is built for gaming, the audio is more focused towards the mids. The highs are average but nothing crispy. You can definitely hear the footstep of enemies and the gunshots and explosion sounds great. If you happen to watch a movie with this headset, it definitely won't disappoint you and the sound design of this headset will enhance your movie experience. But for casual music listening, it is a little hard to recommend because the music listening experience is not that great considering the fact that it is a gaming headset. Overall, I'd recommend this to gamers if they could grab it in a steel deal of around 2000 to 2500 rupees. Well, if you found this video helpful, then make sure to smash the like and the subscribe button. Comment down below for any queries and till then, you guys have a great day.